Would everyone please stand and direct your attention to the flag presented by the JROTC. Seniors Mackenzie McClure, Maya Pacheco, Carly Tracy, and Catherine Hightower will sing the national anthem. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight last gleaming? Please be seated. As a public service to the class of 2019, their parents and the community as well, the Pemberton Township Board of Education is videotaping tonight's graduation exercises. The complete commencement program will be shown on cable television channel 19. The ceremony will air every day of the week at various times through the month of July. Also tonight, professional color, color photos of individual graduates accepting their diplomas are being taken. Information will be on our school website. And at this time, it is my pleasure to introduce Deshaun Cavanaugh, the senior class president, to the stage. Deshaun will be attending American University in the fall where he will major in neuroscience and public health. Good evening, students, graduating seniors, family, and respected faculty. Thank you for joining us for this graduation ceremony of Pemberton Township High School's Class of 2019. I thank my family, Mr. Joseph, Ms. Struther, Mr. Bamber, Mr. Dickinson, and not only the Pemberton swim coach, but the teacher who has given me the greatest impact as an educator and has taught me to express my voice, Ms. Glassman. <clears throat> to the senior class officers, and to the students I stand in front of and represent today. Thank you for believing in me. In my high school career, one of my favorite books was Into the Wild by John Krakauer. Christopher McCandless, the main character, despite judgment and ridicule, disregarded conformity and refused to settle for an ordinary life. I admired his ambition and as he searched for a greater meaning in life. He set out to find his own way to Alaska. He left all money, family, and unnecessary items behind. He took a risk, left his comfort zone, and entered the wild. As graduating seniors, we are about to enter our own version of the wild, leaving the comfort of our homes, close proximity of family and friends, and starting our own lives. Many students in my AP Language and Composition class disliked Christopher McCandless for the claim that he was defiant. Yet, many adults make the same claim about our generation. 
The media labels those born in the 90s and 2000s as Generation Z. We are also labeled as an egotistical generation, the sagging, social networking, and twerking generation. The nonchalant generation, or for some of us, we may just have a bad case of senioritis. We are also a generation who witnessed an economic recession, a generation who grew up with the effects of 9-11, a generation who saw news stories of school shootings, the generation that witnessed the destruction of homes and immoral separation of immigrant families. However, these events that inspired our defiance do not define us. We are a generation of technological literacy. We are a generation of intellectual development. We are a generation of potential and growth. A generation who is environmentally conscious and socially aware. A generation who opened the way to movements such as Bring Back Our Girls, Black Lives Matter, and the hashtag MeToo movement. The most independent generation. A generation who deserves and demands respect. A quote from an article in Forbes states that Gen Z is smaller in numbers, but there is evidence to suggest that their influence, fueled by an innate and constant connection to the world around them, will outstrip their size. Whereas Generation Y, the generation that came before us, is optimistic, Generation Z is realistic. This article was titled Rebels with a Cause. That cause, ladies and gentlemen, that cause, class of 2019, is to change the world. It is to the young people who changed the world. It was the young Martin Luther King Jr. who started the Montgomery bus boycott at only the age of 26. It was John F. Kennedy, the youngest president elected, that led the country through the Cuban Missile Crisis, the space race, and civil liberties. It was Anne Frank who passed at the young age of 15, but will have her adolescent voice heard for centuries to come. In my generation, Malala, at the age of 16, became a public reformer and activist for educational equality. It was the young Hornet swim team members who ended a 30-year-long losing streak. It was the young girls soccer team who became division champions two years in a row. It was the young Edry Jones who set the record for most three-pointers in a game and in a career. It was the young Tiernan Johnson who broke the boys' record for most career goals. It was the young Melissa Yensel who broke the girls' record for most career goals with a total of 79. It was the young Ariana Harrell who set several records for the Hornets track team. It was the young Deja Harper who set a record for the girls' track team in the 1,000-meter race. It was the young Sarah Gaffney who broke the record for most tennis matches won in a career. It was the young Joseph Wilson who broke the record for most wrestling matches won in a career. It was the young members of the girls' bowling team who broke the record of wins in a season, not once, but twice. It was the young members of the PTHS band who placed in the West Effort competition. It was the young JRTC members, Kayla Buckaloo and David Doty, who each awarded scholarships exceeding $100,000. And it is over half of the young students of our class who have become first generation college students. Gen Z, class of 2019, it is our time to take over and our voices will be heard. Those voices will be raised against injustice. Those voices will be raised against wrongdoings. Those voices will create movements. It is now our drive to make a mark in the pavement that we must follow. It is our duty to support and take care of those who have done so for us. But first, everyone say cheese. Let us not forget to capture this moment with a photo, for that is what we do and who we are. We are making a difference. We are going to be heard. We will take care of our loved ones, our community, and each other. We will remember those that served our country and those who sit before me and plan to do the same. We will remember, cherish, and honor those whom we have lost along this journey, including a fellow graduate who marveled at the idea of being here today, India Simeon.
Graduates, I ask that you acknowledge the empty chair amongst us and that we all take a short moment of silence for India. This chair is placed in memory of the young India Simeon, a girl who lit the hallways with a radiant smile, a student who enhanced the classroom with a powerful desire for education, a friend who was loved. Generation Z in the PTHS class of 2019 moves forward and promises to make a difference in honor of India Simeon. We will build a new path for the future of success. We are Generation Z, and we are the greatest graduating class. Congratulations to each and every one of my fellow seniors. Once again, great job by Deshaun Cavanaugh. Now, the one thing he forgot to mention, there was a young Mr. Joseph who turned really old within a couple of hours, looking at the weather every 30 seconds, trying to make the right call. It looks like so far, so good, right? Not just a word. So if it rains at some point, we just all get wet together, right? All right. All right, um, at this time, I would like to introduce Ms. Adelina Gianetti, Assistant Superintendent of Secondary Education to the stage. At this time, I would like to recognize all of our military families in the audience. Would all of our students and their families please stand? Let's give them a round of applause. We would like to thank you for your service to our country, oftentimes at the cost of being away from your families. Thank you. Please be seated. We would also like to recognize the following students who have made plans to enter the military service. Please rise and remain standing while we recognize all of you. In the Air Force are Marquis Clay, Jalen Lucas, Quinton Mahatakan. In the Army are Kayla Buckaloo, Cameron Begley, David Doty, Austin Hitchner, Dallas Hitchner, Joshua Holmes, Brandon Lee. Jaleel Maroney, Juliana McCarthy, Xavier Seji, Nicole Schatzberger, and Justin Yee. In the Navy, Cameron Allen, Sebastian Desmaris, Des Des and Jonathan Massimino. In the Marine Corps, Devin Clegg and Isaiah Haynes, Hines, excuse me. In the Coast Guard, Kyle Bongiovanni. Thank you for volunteering to serve our country. Please be seated. At this time, we would also like to recognize our students who have successfully completed our JROTC program. The senior year of JROTC instruction involves the students as leaders, teachers, and counselors within their program. They are called senior advisors. These leadership and academic opportunities will enable them to succeed both in school and after graduation. This year, we have 15 cadets that have completed the JROTC program. Would the following students please stand to be recognized? Cameron Begley. Alexandria Byers. Kayla Buckaloo. Stephanie David. Sebastian Desmaris. David Doty. Sarah Gaffney. 
Austin Hitchner. Joshua Holmes. Juliana McCarthy. Austin Park. Sean Rogers. Andrew Schoenhofer. Nicole Schatzberger. And Brittany Ward. Please give them a round of applause. Thank you. Will Mr. John Willits, President of the Board of Education, please join me to present the award to the class of 2019 salutatorian. Congratulations to Emily Ruzica. Emily will be attending Washington and Jefferson College, majoring in psychology and pre-medicine. Good evening, faculty, staff, and class of 2019. Thank you, Mr. Bamber, Mr. Ms. Struther, Mr. Dickinson, Mr. Joseph, and Superintendent Trongone for joining us. I would also like to acknowledge family, friends, and everyone who joins us tonight for the commencement ceremony. As I stand here before you, my peers, classmates, and friends, I am saddened at the thought of our time together coming to a close. But more than that, I am excited, eager to see what comes next for each of us. Our time spent here has prepared us all for great success and an exciting future. Before me, I see the world's next generation of nurses, innovators, chemists, artists, journalists. I see the future. Today marks the end of our high school careers, the end of four long years. <laughs> Today is not, however, the end of our journeys. Instead, today marks the moment where we pause, allow ourselves to rest, to reflect on all that has been accomplished these past four years, upon all of the people and moments that have been so important in shaping the individuals we have become. Summing up four years in any amount of time is a difficult task. Our high school careers were not comprised solely of six hours and 55 minutes of class time a day for 720 days, <laughs> but instead of countless trials, triumphs, friendships, unforgettable memories, and moments of truly astounding individual growth. Most of us entered high school as nervous and unknowing freshmen, afraid of the seniors and the teachers, perpetually lost in what seemed at the time like the world's largest school, and always in a fruitless pursuit of the third floor swimming pool. <laughs> However, this sense of aloneness and trepidation did not last terribly long. Soon, each of us began to realize that we indeed were not alone. Each of us, in our own time, came to understand that Pemberton Township High School is a community. As a class, we have learned, struggled, and grown together these past four years. We have developed and explored our passions and achieved so much side by side. Our time spent together as peers, classmates, and as friends will serve each of us well as we move into the world. We helped each other overcome adversity and learn about what it means to mature and to become an adult in the world we live in. Without that support and sense of community, none of us would be who we are today. The teachers, faculty, and administrators here today, who are so excited to see us moving on to the next steps of our lives, are the same people who welcomed and guided us during that period of uncertainty. They watched us grow and learn. They've given us advice and support when we have needed it, and they've helped us develop both academic and daily living skills. Know how instrumental they have been in our success. The parents and family members in the audience who are so nervous about letting go, about allowing us to continue to grow and evolve as individuals, but at the same time are so excited to see who we become, 
were there watching and guiding and sometimes nagging us these past 18 years. <laughs> Be sure to thank them for all that they've done to help us reach this point. And the students, our classmates and friends, who are so filled with contradicting emotions, anticipation and hesitation, excitement and certainly some sadness, are the same peers who grew alongside of us. We are not the same timid and unsure high school freshmen that we were four years ago. There are indeed new feelings of nervousness and uncertainty about our futures, but as you sit here today, know that these past years have endowed you with invaluable experience and knowledge. They have prepared you for these next steps in your lives more than you can know. It is because of this that, despite these unknowns, I ask each of you to dare to be brave. Do not waste your time being afraid. Know that you have done the best you can to prepare. That the people sitting here with you today have helped to ready you and go forth with confidence and self-assurance. Each of us has the base needed to continue on down towards the path of excellency. I would like to thank each of you for all you have brought to PTHS during your time here and I look forward to hearing about your successes and seeing the amazing things each of you goes on to achieve. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2019. We made it. I would now like to introduce Ms. Ida Smith, Chief Academic Officer for Pemberton Township School District to the stage. Thank you. I am pleased to announce our continuing partnership between Pemberton Township High School and Rowan College at Burlington County. PTHS students are able to obtain a college credit for courses which translate into college courses and credits. The name of this program is CAP, College Accelerated Program. The students must maintain an average set by the college and credits can be used at RCBC or transferred to other four-year institutions. Because of this program, we are able to give PTH students a jump start on their college careers. The following students, please stand when your name is called, have earned 3 to 11 college credits. Christian Barkley, Madeline Capewell, Eliana Cruz Martinez, Jaleesa Floyd, Kiernan King, Teresa Lane, Desmond Manigault, Janiah Mitchell, Jordan Seville, and Kaylee Steinhardt. You may be seated. The following students have earned 12 to 23 credits, which equates to a semester, nearly a full year of college credits. And they are David Doty, Andrew Gressel, Aaron Jones, and Caitlin Scogland. You may be seated. The following students have earned more than 24 credits, which equates to a full year of college credits completed. And they are, please stand, Tiernan McGreevy, Ryan Placente, Gavin Saluski, I'm a Roble. You may be seated. And earning the most credits is Madeline Kirby, who earned 36 college credits, which equates to three semesters of college courses completed while in high school. Congratulations to all of you for earning college credits. Thank you. Will Mr. John Willits, President of the Board of Education, please join me to present the award to the class of 2019 valedictorian. Welcome to the stage, Robert Reed. Robert will be attending Rutgers University, New Brunswick, where he will be majoring in electrical and computer engineering. Good evening, everyone. Little hot out, a little bit hot, okay. <laughs> Good evening, parents, faculty, dignitaries, administration, Mr. Trangone, Mr. Joseph, and most importantly, 
the graduating class of 2019. Before I begin, I would like to thank several people who helped me in my journey to be up on this stage today. Ms. Herman, my guidance counselor, for helping me search for colleges. Yeah, I hear her over there somewhere. <laughs> for helping me search for colleges and working with my schedules every year. As painful as it might have been for her, she accommodated most of my requests and let me take all the classes I wanted. Dr. Molnar, for helping me write my speech and for being supportive of my journey. Go right into this. <laughs> Thank you to the AP teacher squad that I did have, Mr. Gordon, Ms. Rose, and Mr. Kelly, for helping me pass my AP tests and showing me the academic challenges I needed to really find my breaking point. Thank you to the AP teacher squad that I didn't have, Mr. Kerpicki, Ms. Chazen, Ms. Williams, and Mr. Atmore, for always encouraging me and influencing me throughout the years. Thank you to Ms. Carvin. You are my friend now. I've graduated. We can go do stuff. I don't know. We'll go to another book club. Uh, I'm really glad I spent my Wednesdays with you at book club. It was a lot of fun. Thank you to Mr. Flood. I don't know if he's here. Uh, for letting me run that extra lap in gym even when I was fighting for my life. <laughs> a special thank you to Mr. Stark, my AP physics and engineering teacher, who's over there. Uh, for being a mentor and role model for me throughout these years. It really has been a privilege to be in your classes, and the experience and knowledge I gain from you will propel me through college and carry me on in my field later on. Thank you to my father for teaching me a unique trade and getting me ready to go out into the world. I know that I am prepared to be away from home because of him, and I am happy to have such a great father. <laughs> you just, we're going to be clapping again. Finally, thank you to my mom for always sticking by me even when things got tough. I will always appreciate your pushing me and showing me that I had the strength to overcome my challenges even when I couldn't find it in myself. I love you, and you have made me the person I am today. Hi, Mom. All right. I had a joke about me being up here sweating, but we're all sweating, so it doesn't make any sense anymore. So I'll just go. First off, I want to congratulate the Pemberton Township High School graduating class of 2019. I am honored and truly humbled to stand before you all today as your valedictorian at the end of four very long years here at PTHS. Truth be told, I never expected that I would end up first in the class until I started walking towards this podium, even as I was writing my speech, as Dr. Molnar will tell you. Everyone knows from day one of our high school careers, we are bogged down with endless cliches telling us to take the road less traveled and to find and follow our passion, no matter what it takes. These cliches that we are taught are not one size fits all, and we know by now cannot be followed as advertised. From the beginning of my high school career, I lived in the quote unquote shadow of one of the former upperclassmen in the STEM program. So much so that during my first week here, I was given the honor of being called the new him. As absolutely lovely as that sounds, I soon found out that I didn't like it very much at all. And who would? Especially so early on in our high school careers, when we are finding out exactly who we are for ourselves, we discover someone has already done it for us. At first, begrudgingly, I walked in the footsteps carved before me, knowing that everything I did was just a step someone had already taken before. I was always searching for a way to be different, a way to break out of the mold I was thrown so quickly into. It took a while for me to realize that although the beginning of this path was not necessarily my own, this would not always be the case. My attempt to bridge the gap between me and the accomplishments of my precursor showed me that the footsteps I was walking in, the path I was following, only went so far and soon enough the path started to be my own. This frustrating experience taught me a very valuable lesson. Taking the road less traveled isn't always possible if someone beats you to it. Today is the day when we are supposed to walk out into the real world, where most things have already been done. And make no mistake, most things have been done. Done well? Maybe. But done once? Most definitely. They say that fortune and success favors the bold, those who are better or special. But I think fortune favors the early, 
and when that cannot be us, fortune favors those who are determined to do something better than anyone else. Instead of taking this metaphorical road less traveled, we each should be walking our own desired path until it becomes our road. It took me quite a while to put this into words, but what I had learned in my second year here at PTHS might be a viewpoint that not many have today. See, what we learn from a young age is to do something different, to be something different. But I think that the secret to success is knowing that the footsteps you are following are only someone else's for so long before they become yours. I would love to come up here and say that my experience at PTHS is new and fresh and never before seen, and that I did something new but I was only following the path I chose early on, and the only thing that I did different was to take it farther than the person in front of me and attempt to pave a road for others in my wake. I know now that it will be okay if we don't do anything new in the world after leaving high school, as long as the paths we pave are our own, and we are able to leave a path behind us for others that stretch further than the one we started on. We all learn that experience forges who we are, and that being pushed out of our comfort zones is simply a necessity of life. In these halls, I learned how to bend, but not break. I hear it. It's behind me, isn't it? If it knocks my cap off, I'm gonna be a little bit mad. This thing was hard to get on, I'm sweating. I learned that it is not how our roads start that make us who we are, but the journey and the steps that we take to further paths that define us. Today is the day to recognize and congratulate those who thought they were broken, when really, they were bent just far enough to further their path. Remember, when you leave here today, that this is only the start of your story. Dream big and pave a road for others and figure out who you are in the process. I wish you all much more than luck. Thank you. At this time, we're just going to honor and recognize a few students who had perfect attendance over the four years. So I'm just going to ask them to stand. So we had Grace Awolomate, Sean Brandt, Brianna Ito, Elizabeth Poinsett, Talon Smith. And then this one student was perfect attendance since kindergarten. He's never missed a day. Adamo Saul. Congratulations. At this point, at this point, I want to uh, bring to the stage the family members of India Simeon. Last school year, we suffered a tragedy when a member of our PTHS family member student India Simeon passed away. Today we would like to recognize and call up her family to receive her diploma. India was a part of this graduating class and will always be in our memories. Thank you. At this time, I would introduce Tony Trongon, Superintendent of Schools. Thank you, Mr. Joseph, and good evening, everyone. Uh, I'd like to begin by having a moment of silence for those loved ones who cannot be with us tonight. Also, our board member, Sandy Glosson, who is ill. Thank you. At this time, I would like to recognize our Board of Education members. Can you please remain standing as I call your name? Mr. Tom Bauer, Vice President. Mr. Joe Huber, Wanda Knox, Tom Mayer, Terry Maldonado, and Board President John Willits. Thank you for supporting us. You may be seated. Our school extends a sincere thank you to Pemberton Township Mayor Patriarca and also to Chief Jantis and the Pemberton Township Police Department. I'm gonna make this quick. 
You are now embarking on your next journey in life, college or career. It is a critical period. Your success will be based upon the investment that you place on yourself. Achieving that success will be no secret, for it takes setting goals, hard work, and believing in yourself. I will close with a quote from our greatest president, one of our greatest presidents, Teddy Roosevelt, who said, keep your eyes on the stars and your feet on the ground. Bless you all and best of luck. Go ahead. Okay. President Willits, I hereby certify that the graduates presented before you this evening have completed all the requirements as per New Jersey code and board policy to earn a Pemberton Township High School diploma. At this time, the graduates will be called to the stage to receive their diplomas. As names are recited, please hold all applause until after the final name has been announced. Please be reminded that no one is permitted on the field except the school photographers. At this time, graduates, please rise. Ready to go, Ron? Is yours working? I'm, I'm, I'm. First student, Robert Reed. <laughs> K.R. Newton. Emily Rusica. Tiernan McGreevy. Joseph D. Toronto. Juliana McCarthy. Melissa Yentl. Tiernan Johnson. Ima Roble. Ariana Harrell. Chloe Ackerley. Amaya Giddings. Kiernan King. Kayla Flora. Mackenzie McClure. David Doty. Nina Stecker. Madeline Capewell. Jordan Seville. Kayla Buckaloo. Deshawn Cavanaugh. Jasmine Bonzer. Alyssa Bernardini. Matthew Bentley. Diamond Young. Elijah Hainbury. Sadia Pankins. John Arbello. Elizabeth Poinsett. Diana Arroyo. Alexander Ray. Remy Lequin Aluamate. Kristen Sandell. Carly Ayer. Automo Soul. Tiani Baker. Caitlin Skoglin. Shantae Barber. Kaylee Steinhardt. Cameron Begley. Quentin Stinney. Jaden Berry. Jasmine Wall. Natalie Betsy. Camilla Williams. Alexandra Byers. Alexis Allen. Naomi Biomon Ortiz. Cameron Allen. Devin Bigelow. Robert Andrews. Devin Clegg. Shauna Applegate. Alexander Copeland. Kyle Bongiovanni. Roman Correa. Zakayla Bradley. Olivia Cox. Barry Brayman. Anastasia Crater. Sean Brandt. Alara Crawley. Julie Bruce Palmer. Corinthina Crespo. John Austin Buffett. Zane Cross. 
Maya Burnett. Elena Cruz Martinez. Jordan Bush. Tamia Curtis. Ariana Canales Salazar. Joseph Switzlinski. Gino Capio. Davis Destiny. Dean Cawley. Ryan Davis. Alex Clark. Sebastian Desmarais. Marquise Clay. Andrew Frake. James Dickinson. Joel from Prong. Selena Denise Trombetto. Sarah Gaffney. Denea Dunstan. Andrea Garcia Montalvo. Dayanara Dunstan. Davina Garrett. Heather Edwards. Davina Garrett. Brian Estelo. Jace Gately. Brianna Ito. Jadeja Giddens. Sean Evans. Amir Gilbert. Jaleesa Floyd. Andrew Gressel. Javon Foreman. Catalina Guillen. Nicole Fagans. Magdalena Guillen. Delijah Laster. Cheyenne Hamilton. Ranima Henderson. Deja Harper. Jesus Hernandez. Brianne Hayden. Catherine Hightower. Jonathan Massimino. Hunter Hindeman. Brenda Jimenez. Isaiah Hines. Pharaoh Johnson. Austin Hitchner. Aaron Jones. Dallas Hitchner. Edry Jones. Joshua Holmes. Kobe Kemp. Kaylee Hopkins. Madeline Kirby. Victor Ibarra. Alexander Kish. Miles Irving. Amanda Kitchell. Shalea Jean. Ashlyn Knight. Kobe Jenkins. Olivia Kwan. Brandon Lee. Ananias LaBoy. Nathan Leonard. Teresa Lane. Michael Lippincott. Joshua McCall. Robert Lippincott. Alexis McCrossan. Ariel Lohr. Brooke McDonough. Jalen Lucas. Samantha McGear. Shane McPherson. Bianca McNulty. Algeri McGee. Janiah Mitchell. Quentin Mahatakan. Sarah Moon. Desmond Manigo. Alexis Mosher. Galaxy Manning. Anthony Narowski. Jalil Maroney. Samantha Natavidad. Kevon Matthias. Travis Nichols. Maya Pacheco. Xavier Nixon. Austin Park. Chelsea Ortega. Shannon Parks. Leanne Vet Ortiz Colon. Marcus Pedito. Sean Rogers. Ryan Placente. Jeffrey Rodriguez. Cheyenne Pope. Jose Rodriguez. Marissa Plemaleski. Jalen Rush. Kayla Quinones. Jordan Rush. Kayla Ratty. Gina Sabo. Ashley Reed. Jaslyn Sanchez. Alex Restivo. Andrew Schoenhofer. Chase Reynolds. Cedar Skull. Dane Shaler. Xavier Segui. Chase Shaler. Senzale Shabazz. Nicole Schatzberger. Shannon Stuhler. Hayden Shugart. Gavin 
Sokolay. Seleski. Stuart Simon. Corey Taylor. Talon Smith. Elena Tice. Natasha Spencer. Steven Torado. Gregory Spray. Carly Tracy. Isaiah Steele. Kiara Trumper. Donovan Stewart. Josiah Tewitt. Chantel Still. Isis Clayton Stewart. Matthew Tyler. Heather Vaughn. Lindsey Terrell. Zachary Wade. Ronald Terrell. Brittany Ward. William Underwood. Kendra Ward. James Witten. Aaron Warner. Andre Williams. Marlon Watts. Kenita Williams. Joshua Wisnick. Tyrese Williams. Jason Welke. Joseph Jojo Wilson. Camille Wells. Constance Wiltsey. Zachary Wenzel. Lorenzo Yacono. Tyrell Westmoreland. Justin Yee. Shayla Watley. Kyle Yock. Larry White. Mamoru, good job. At this time, we just want to say thank you to the building and maintenance for making sure the field is good and the way it looks today. So thank you for all that hard work. At this time, we ask that seniors John Austin Buffett, Jace Gately, Tierney McGreevy, Chase Reynolds, and Tyrese Williams come to the stage as they will sing the school's alma mater. The sky of blue stands our alma mater. Green and white her colors true, hail that alma mater. In our hearts her honor, glory we will ever cherish. Hail to thee, oh hail to thee. Hail to thee. That's the song we sing every morning before class starts, right, seniors? All right, will the class officers please come forward? Please stand and join us in the official turning of the tassel. Okay, you ready for this? Turning the graduation tassel from one side to the other signifies the completion of the graduation ceremony. Please turn your tassels from right to left. Congratulations! Done now. I'm not done though. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2019. Graduates, please prepare 
for our recessional. We asked for a little bit of air conditioning. That's the only reason the temperature went down. We're processing out, recessing out. Uh, parents and family, you'll be able to meet your uh, child out on the um, blacktop there. Students, just a reminder, you need to go to the classroom to pick up your folder. In your folder, there's information about scholarships. Do not lose the folder. At this time, we are recessing out. Congratulations again. <laughs>